Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. And I think Yeah. Um the I think the hopper duplication bug is not happening in the spigot server. Because since we switched over to it, um we just haven't had any uh any hopper duplication. Whoa! Ah, uh, forgot I have, uh, I have a haste beacon upstairs. Okay. Um, oops. Oh, man. Just making it worse and worse. There we go. Um, so. Wow. Uh, so we were getting hopper duplication very much at the uh, the mob farm and I set up a hopper here uh, hopper clock here that was on uh, exactly on a chunk boundary hoppers one was here one was here and um, it would occasionally duplicate things I uh, threw some shulker shells in there just because if the game is going to misbehave that way and give me extra stuff that would be one thing that would be kind of nice to have more of uh, but since I switched to the spigot server I uh, haven't had that happen so I've got you know I've got some shulker shells here which is cool so I can make a few more shulker boxes easily almost 20 of them which is kind of cool uh, but anyway don't need that test anymore because it's not happening uh, what are we gonna do so I just wanted to show you that, and hang on a second, let's go do some stuff. Hang on a second. All right. Making some progress on the pyramid. And this is going to be so much easier with the elytra wings. Yes, indeed. Let me go up and show you what's going on up there. So this is what's going on with the pyramid. I'm making slow and steady progress. I need... Um, a few more steps here to get into the range of the beacon, the speed two beacon. From here, I'm just a little too far away from it. it. Shows you just how big this area is. I'm also just uh not. I think I should now be about far enough away that stuff's not going to spawn down there and then jump up here and try to kill me. Uh, should be just out of reasonable spawning range for the beasties down there. Uh, I, I have had a couple instances where I turn around and there's a creeper trying to blow me up, which is unfortunate. And the husks seem to be able to target you from farther away than the other mobs, which is kind of weird. So, but the cool thing is from up here, if it's dark, oh no, it's nighttime. I need to, or I need to resupply because I don't have any sandstone blocks. I can just jump down and glide my way back down to the ground. A lot easier than uh, uh, than walking all the way down and going down the ladder. This door, this entrance here, is actually in the correct place. Uh, it's in the accurate place. It's a little bit east. This is the... no, a little bit. I am facing south. I think that's right. It's on the south. The entrance is on the south side, just a little bit east of center line pretty sure that's right i'll have to double check but so this is i believe where the actual entrance to the pyramid of giza is and then it slopes down and then there's uh three chambers and i intend to build the passageways and all that good stuff which i think is going to be kind of cool so uh vex is looking for some electric guidance let me give that to him and i'll be back with you So, as I said, uh, I updated the server to the, spigot, to the spigot server. And the reason I did that was because I wanted the village info plugin. Because uh, if you saw at the last, the end of the uh, last episode, I'm back up to six iron golems in the village, which is really frustrating. They keep, they keep duplicating for some reason. And I think it was happening before I changed to spigot. Oh, I know it was because I had two in there. 
So that was super frustrating. And I had been using the Village Info plugin under the bucket server. And the bucket server is really easy to run. Um, not a lot of settings to worry about. There are some things you can control, but for the most part, it's just a, a replace drop-in replacement server for vanilla. Uh, however, uh, I hosted the server on Beast Node, and their bucket 1.11.2 bucket server is that redundant? Probably uh, is not. It doesn't report as 1.11.2. It reports as 1.11 so you can't connect to it with the 1.11.2 client so it's not an option i can't use it which is a little frustrating so i thought well spigot basically takes the the bucket api which is the plugin api or it's it includes the plugin api and uh adds a bunch of other things to it so let's try that and it works. So the Spigot 1.11.2 works just fine. And the only plugin I'm running is the Village Info plugin, although I want to add a permissions plugin so that I can allow other people to use the Village Info plugin because I think it's kind of useful. And in particular, VexFX is the one that has villagers and he has a weed and potato and carrot farm. and trying to manage that village population is a little bit uh, tricky and he wants to avoid zombie sieges just as much as I do so uh, but spigot changes some things about the way things spawn so the gold farm for instance kind of stopped working because uh, spigot changes your spawn it changes some things about the way different types of mobs spawn and you can control how many mobs of each type spawn. And by each type, I mean hostile versus passive versus uh, aquatic. Um, and and what spawning range is. So you can do both a number and spawning range. And it puts those two things through some formula that kind of gets you a mob cap of that type. It's It's not super intuitive. So I had to tweak those to get the gold farm to behave more or less the way it behaves it behaved originally uh, but as a result um, because i don't have the numbers balanced exactly right uh, as a result mobs in dark areas uh, they spawn like crazy so i was going through an abandoned mine shaft and it, there was just crazy numbers of creepers and zombies and whatnot running around in i had most things lit up and the areas that were dark were super infested so it also adjusts uh, view distances at the distance at which different types of entities will render so there could be creepers down way off in the distance there and because of the distance at which they will render uh i wouldn't be necessarily be able to see i wouldn't be able to see them but the nice thing is that it also sets ranges on how far mobs spawn. And I think it has the hostile mob set to four chunks. So where I am here, I am very close to the point where nothing will spawn inside my perimeter of torches there. Meaning I could be up here all night long and it wouldn't, I wouldn't risk having mobs spawn in the desert area out there. Which you may want to change a little bit, but it, I, right now it's set so that the view, the distance at which they will render is the distance in which they can spawn, I think. And it seems to be a good balance. It makes caving a little bit more challenging, which isn't bad. Um, but it, uh, it does funky things. Like I had to really crank up the distance at which players will render because we were able to uh, walk, easily walk out of range of being able to see each other. <laughs> in the community area which didn't entirely make sense and it's not like i have hundreds of people on the server at any given time so uh most of these changes that the spigot server makes are in the name of server performance um, one of the nice things it does and at first it was frustrating but now that i have these settings tweaked it groups all the uh, experience orbs from the gold farm 
as they fall down the the shafts the the xp orbs will group together and this has both good and bad parts and it was get, getting to the point where all the xp would group into one orb in each drop shaft which was nice because it was really limiting the number of, of entities on the server that the server was having to render and track, which was great. But at the same time, it really looked weird. It's like, oh, it doesn't look like there's any XP. It just, those XP were super huge. They had so much experience in each orb. Uh, it was kind of, it was a little disconcerting. So I, I turned down that setting, which is a, a radius in which uh entities experience entities will uh, will cluster and by adjusting that um really turning that way way down not to the point where nothing would group together uh but i got it to a point where it would you would end up having somewhere between 10 and 20 orbs in each drop shaft and that works really nicely because what it means is when uh you're going to pick up the experience it doesn't take you know 20 30 seconds to pick all of it up it all it all scoops up super quickly i mean it's you you go up levels very quickly and uh and then it keeps the number of entities down uh to the point where the server doesn't uh, start to lag because somebody is at the gold farm which is i think super cool so I, I'm still learning all these settings and sort of managing a little bit. The nice thing about the entity grouping is that when you're mining or breaking a bunch of blocks like at the sugarcane farm, uh, the, the sugarcane kind of all clumps together and you don't have to wander over the entire farm to pick it all up. It all picks up a little bit more quickly, a little bit more effectively or efficiently. So that's super cool. So anyway, that's uh, that's what's going on on the server with the uh, the the spigot update. Uh, I'm going to do a couple more courses on the pyramid here. Then I'm going to go and harvest me some iron golems because having six iron golems in the farm is going to make it difficult to move the villagers around, and the villagers are at full. Uh, full population right now and i need to clear out some and i don't it doesn't look like i have any librarians at the moment so i want to clear out some of the others so i can maybe uh, improve on some of the librarians that i have i am back to the point where i have one librarian of every uh <laughs> oh in fact saw the flowers on top of the statues Uh, I, I put, I put flowers up on top of his statues and, uh, he found them and took them down and I just went and put them back up and they've been up there for quite a while because I don't think he, it didn't occur to him. Then I might just go place them back. Um, but, uh, I knew that as soon as he got an electric, he was going to be flying over that area and he would spot it. So anyway, uh, as far as I know, he still hasn't found the other flower yet, but uh, so I'm I'm keeping a little quiet about that one. But I have other plans too. So anyway, that uh, I think that's it for the time being. I've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more to go. Ooh, and each each course that I do takes it's one it's eight fewer blocks so eight courses reduces the number of blocks that i need to do a complete course by one stack <laughs> so it's going very slowly but it'll start to speed up as i get farther up and when i hit the uh where the the uh the beacon i'm sorry oh uh, 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 where i hit the beacon uh, effect range then it should speed up quite a bit more um i have been using speed potions to do some of this and it helps a little bit but it's a little bit of a pain and yeah i forget so anyway so this is going and then i have to go and do it all over again with stairs to put the uh the sheathing on uh, the casing rocks 
on it uh, and then all the torches will go so i'm going to have thousands and thousands and thousands of torches when i get done with this and then i have to do the interior so there's a lot of work i'm not going to fill the entire thing in of course but i will put as i said um uh, i will put the the walkway that goes from this entrance it'll go down here and it'll come down to about about the middle here but it will go underground and the bottom chamber is underground under the what they call bedrock at the site which is this level here so the bottom chamber is a little bit below that and then there's two chambers farther up so anyway that's that um oh i have a pig man somewhere hi buddy how are you uh so that's uh that's it i have a kitty I need to come up with a name for the cat. Meow. Um, and I want to get a whole herd of cats in here because I figure that's kind of appropriate. But uh, I'm having a little trouble. And the problem is if I breed, if I get another cat in here since this cat is tamed, um, if I breed the cats, they will be, uh, they will be tamed, to, the kittens will be tamed as well, unfortunately. So I can't, I can't have a bunch, I want to have a bunch of cats just wandering around, but uh, I can't do, um, I can't do, I can't breed up the cats and I, I'm, not, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to, how I'm going to take care of this. So nice. So anyway, I think that's it. I'm starting to ramble now. Um, keep working on this and uh do an update a little later all right thanks for watching and i will see you next time bye